Here we are today. Getting ready for the Thursday, slightly more intense workout. We're going to get started. Make sure today that you have obviously the board set up. Make sure that you have the bands as well attached into here. Um, they don't have to be attached now. I'll give you time to put them on. But we want to make sure that you uh, have the band standing by because today we got band workout too. Okay. It's always good to just check out everything set up right. Who else just came in? <clears throat> oh, there's Bella. Hey, Shirlene, how are you? Nice to see you. This is uh, after talking yesterday. It's nice to be back. Oh, there's, uh, I said, oh, there's Rosa. Hello, how you doing? Kirk, good morning. Thanks for sending through the message, Kirk. Um, look forward to hearing more. Hi to you and your wife. Um, Kim just came in. Oh, look, there's Monkey. Hey, Monkey, how you doing? And this lot. And uh, anybody new joining us today? It's been great. You guys are really inspirational and uh, it's been fantastic. Um, we're going to start probably in about another minute because I had to cancel the last Facebook Live because my internet kept going out. So I had to get rid of internet, go on to, uh, straight on to my uh, wireless plan and we started again. Um, hey, there's Hunter. Hey, Hunter, how you doing? Thanks for coming back. I know you've been missed. So uh, thanks for being here, Hunter. Um, so inspiration for today. Um, I got to speak to Shirlene yesterday and um, she had shared her story and I had some amazing stories come through from Julie and, and some other people as well. But it got me thinking about what my inspirational message would be today. Um, and you'll be finding out more about Shirlene as time goes out, but um, everybody has issues in life physically as they begin to age. And sadly, a lot of people have them earlier in life as well. And as much as the medical team uh, is there to support you. They don't have the same investment as you. And the beautiful thing is you're responsible for you and everybody else is in your corner trying to help you to survive. Um, not just survive, but thrive off of what you're doing. And no one, hey Sandy, that's Sandy from England looking in here. And nobody can um, invest as much into you as you can. So to get the best that you want, you have to be willing to stand out. You can't come in and fit in and it's up to you to lead. Now, the beautiful thing is you have the character inside you to lead, take your own challenges and step ahead of the crowd because it's about you. It's about helping you. And only when you've helped you can you turn around and, and start helping other people. So again, invest into yourself, step out of the comfort zone. You gotta be smart. Listen to those people that are smarter in the areas that we're trying to learn in. Educate yourself. But stand out, don't sit and accept what other people say when there's a burning desire or, or um, need to get back out and live life even better. Um, so lead the way for you. Listen, evaluate the information you're getting, study, set yourself goals. And once you set the goals for yourself, commit to them. Commit to them and commit to you by committing to the goals that you have. So with that going on, I think it's time for us to get started on the workout. Um, everybody has issues in life physically as they begin to age. And sadly, a lot of people have them earlier in life as well. And as much as the medical team uh, is there to support you, they don't have the same investment as you. And the beautiful thing is you're responsible for you and everybody else is in your corner trying to help you to survive. Um, not just survive, but thrive off of what you're doing. And no one, hey Sandy, that's Sandy from England looking in here. And nobody can um, invest as much into you as you can. So to get the best that you want, you have to be willing to stand out. You can't come in and fit in and it's up to you to lead. Now, the beautiful thing is you have the character inside you to lead. Take your own challenges and step ahead of the crowd because it's about you. It's about helping you. And only when you've helped you can you turn around and, and start helping other people. So again, invest into yourself, step out of the comfort zone. You gotta be smart, listen to those people that are smarter in the areas that we're trying to learn in. Educate yourself, but stand out. Don't sit and accept what other people say when there's a burning desire or, or um, need to get back out and live life even better. Um, so lead the way for you. Listen, evaluate 
the information you're getting, study, set yourself goals. And once you set the goals for yourself, commit to them. Commit to them. And commit to you by committing to the goals that you have. So with that going on, I think it's time for us to get started on the workout. Here we go. So today is a little bit of a harder workout. I'm gonna put my gloves on. And uh, with the harder workout, remember, go at your own pace. You don't have to go at the pace that I'm going at, and I am gonna take a very, um, a very uh, slow approach to begin with, but I wanna raise the level as well. So take the challenge, do what you need to do to be able to support and stay up. But if you need to step off, you need to stop, you need to slow down, go at your own pace, feel free to do that. It's not about keeping up, it's about what you can do for you. I'm gonna turn the music down just a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's start by rocking the board, just nice and easy. And what I want you to do is just step side to side with the board as you're going. Get those feet working. I'm gonna give you a couple of challenges today as well. It's always good to have challenges because if you don't achieve them today, you'll feel great when you do tomorrow. And if you do achieve them today, you know you're in a great place already and, and feeling good about yourself because at the end of the day, it's all about feeling good and feeling good about you. Two different things. So give yourself some love. Okay, so what we're gonna do in here, just step in, in the center. Let's just tap on the one to begin with. Just in here, nice and easy. Feeling the balance, just the nice easy pace. Again, if you want to, put your fingers on top of the poles if you feel comfortable and feel the soft light touch on the poles. If you really want to give yourself a test, take your fingers off and feel that really light. You've got to feel your foot tap tapping on the board, but again, very light tap. I know that I'm perfectly balanced when I do it and in control of my foot. Okay, so next one we're going to do, we're going to go toe, heel, toe, and down. Toe, heel, toe, and down. Changing feet, toe, heel, toe, and down. Again, if you want to use your fingers on the top, there's nothing wrong with holding on. Toe, heel, toe, and down. Changing feet, toe, heel, toe. Now lift your legs slightly higher. Up, toe, up, heel, up, toe, and down. Up, toe, up, heel, up, toe, and down, up, toe, up, heel, toe, and down, lift, toe, heel, toe, down. Good, just shake those legs out. There you go, I see the love coming through. Thanks, love, always back to you guys. Okay, next one we're gonna do. It's gonna be a little different in here now. We're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna add a step to it. So you lift, toe, heel, toe, heel, and step. Push back. So we've got four, left leg. Toe, heel, toe, heel, and step on the board and push. There you go, and we go again. Toe, heel, toe, heel, roll the foot and step on the board. There you are, this is for John specifically. Toe, heel, toe, heel, and then roll and step. Let's move the foot to the number two position. Toe, heel, toe, heel, and roll that foot and step. Good, come back. Number two on the left. Toe, heel, toe, heel, roll the foot and step. Just our warm up, push back, and again. Toe, heel, toe, heel, and roll the foot and step, and push back. We go one time more on the left. Toe, heel, toe, Heel, roll the foot, step, and push back. Good. Shake those legs out. Now what I want you to do is we're going to go toe, heel, roll, and step on number three. Watch if you need to, but join in if you can. Three, toe, heel, roll, and step. Push back. Here we go on the left. Toe, heel stays on the board. Roll your foot and step. Push back. And we go again. Right foot, toe, oh my balance is off, toe, heel, oops, roll the foot and step. Good, now I'm having to think about my balance because I'm a little bit off, left foot. Toe, heel stays on the board, push the board to the ground, roll, push, and then push back. One more time each side, I gotta get it right. Toe, 
Heel stays on the board, let the board touch the ground, roll your foot and push back and on the left side. Toe, heel, roll your foot, push and come back. Very good. All right, what I want you to do is just step up on two and two and just rock side to side. We want to go a little bit faster in here, get that heart rate up a little quicker today now that we're beginning to get the body moving. Awesome, there you go. Just rocking side to side. Hey Wendy, I see you there as well. I hope you're on your board joining in. Good, pushing side to side. Can we go a little faster now? Now what I want you to do is keep your body still in the middle. Instead of rocking, let the legs do the work. So I'm just pushing and you should feel you're kind of pushing more towards the inside of your foot like your big toe and the little toe isn't too much engaged. Good, now let the body go with it. So you're rocking, keeping your body in between the poles but getting that little leaner move going again. Good, as you're doing this, pull those shoulders back and then allow them to relax. Pull them back, allow them to relax. Pull them back so we're multifunctioning the body movement and strengthening the back for posture at the same time. They are good. And just nice and relaxed, what I want you to do is push down the left side, step off the board. So now we've got another exercise. This is a leg strengthener that we're gonna do. But before I do, quick mouthful of water. I can already feel that my mouth is a little dry. So grab your water. It's great knowing people are watching me drink. I feel like a celebrity, a superstar. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, take your right foot and put it behind the number two. Now go into a lunge into this position, hold this position. What I want you to do is take your back leg off, stand up, put your foot back on the ground and change feet. So again, put your foot behind number two, go into a slight lunge, feel all the weight on your left hand side. You'll adjust a little bit to take your back foot off, then stand up and then stand back off the board. Watch again, or join in. Number two goes on, bend that knee. Now adjust, lift the back leg up, then stand up, and then stand back. Let's go again. Step with the left, bend the knee, adjust your weight, lift the back leg up, stand up, and then stand back up off the board. Now, on the right side, we're gonna go a little bit faster, so join in if you want. Um, but if you want to go at the same speed, so it's bend, lift, stand, and back off the board. Bend, lift, stand, back off the board. Bend, adjust, lift, stand up, back off the board. Bend into the leg, adjust, lift the back leg, step. So what this exercise is doing, and keep going at your own pace, what this exercise is doing is helping you develop the speed to be able to adjust, but at the same time have the strength in your leg. I know we were talking yesterday with Shirlene. Um, Shirlene was having you know, balance issues going up and down the stairs, and now she's in a position where her legs are feeling so much stronger. So this is kind of a going up the stairs movement where we're lifting the leg, we're stepping on the stairs, and we're lifting up. Last time on the left, bend, lift, stand, and come back off. Good, shake those legs out. Okay, now, this is a specific exercise that I wanna develop for tight spaces. And we talked about this yesterday as well. So step up on one and one. So sometimes when you're going into a tight space and you've got to shuffle sideways, it could be um, in a line, which obviously we're not experiencing right now, but getting ready for, getting back into lines. It could be going to church and getting into a pew that's a little bit tight a movie theater shuffling through people. So what I want you to do is take your right foot and put it behind number two and push. Bring your left foot, put it on number one on the right hand side. Take the left, right foot, put it on number three. Take the foot, put it on number two. Now we're gonna walk sideways. So it's a small step, small step, small step, small step, small step, small step, here and here. So we're really doing a ladder where we're just bringing the feet going in here and you'll feel how the ball will only rock on one and one and when you push on two, it stays on the same side. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you need to look down, feel free to look on this one and just follow. So we go one, 
two. All you're doing is just shuffling the feet as the ground is changing beneath you. And you'll feel as it changes, your body is training itself to be able to shuffle into small spaces in here. There you go. Now, if you feel confident, and again, try and keep your body, don't let the body go outside any pole, don't be leaning here, push more on the outside leg, but here we are. Now we can just go a little bit faster. Again, if you're doing this fast, look down at the board, make sure your foot placement is good. There you go. Good, one, two. And all we're doing is just that fast little shuffle of those feet, but with the small movements, you're able to adjust your balance. And again, I'm trying to feel where my feet are. One, two, one, 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 two, one, one. Again, small little steps, not as easy as it looks. Just in here. Good, last time going across and back. Here we go, last time back. Good, now step back off of the board. What I want you to do is do the same thing, but come to the side of the board and put both feet up on number three. All you're gonna do is small little one, 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 two, two, three, three, and step off of the board. I gotta move my water out the way. So you step up, one, 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 we go to three, three, and step off the board, turn to the front. Small little shuffle, small little shuffle, small little shuffle, small step down. Three, three, one, 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 three, three. These are our foot positions. Up, up, one, 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 three, three. Now when you do this, have the foot closest to the back of the board go first. Up, up, one, 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 the number three, three, step off. Step on, back foot, three, three, then step to one, one, then step to one, one, three, three, step off the board. One more time going across, then we're gonna mix it up a little bit for fun. Three, three, one, 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 three, three, here, good. And one more time going across. Three, three, one, 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 three, three, come across. Now come to the back of the board, step on the right foot number three. Got that? Now we're gonna go across the other way. One, two, one, one, two, one, three, two. Come back across. I'll go through it a little slower in here. One, two, one, one, two, one, three, two. We go two, three, one, two, one, one, two, one, three, two. Now step off the board to the side. Let's go across. Back foot closest to the back starts. Three, three, one, 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 three, three. Step off. Going back the other way. Three, three, one, 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 three, three. Across. Now let's go across. Step up. Your left foot goes on the number two. Your right foot goes on the number three. Now let's just walk across. Good, small little steps. And if you do these nice and easy and practice them regularly, eventually you'll be in a position and step off the board to the side. Eventually you'll be in the position to get in here. Small little steps that you work across here, just here, or small little steps going across where I'm here, able to adjust so in real life, I'm able to get those little steps. So I'm going in here, I'm going back in here. We're just practicing and always in a good position as I step into those small little steps. Okay, I'm gonna move my water back. Next exercise, I hope you enjoyed those ones again. It's uh, about creating real life movements on a balance board that would challenge you. Okay, step up two and two. Just rocking side to side. Looking good. Okay, we're gonna go straight in again. A little bit of tough exercise in here, find your balance. And every day, balance is a little different depending on your sleep, on your hydration, it's huge. I hydrate, I'll talk more about hydration another time, but it's so critical to fuel the brain to feel. The brain needs water and the heart needs water, good. So from here, stick that butt out, go back into a knee bend, good, stand up. Go up on your toes. 
That's one. Come back down. Butt goes out. My balance is struggling today. I bend my knees. I hold it for a second. I come back to the middle. I go up on the board, hold it on my toes, come back down. That's two. We're going to go a little bit, I don't want to say quicker, we're going to go a little bit more fluid. So it's knee bend, come to stand, go up on your toes, come back down. Go into a knee bend, butt goes out, come to a stand, go up on those toes. Now hold this balance, hold that balance. You'll feel the pressure on your big toe more than anywhere. Hold it, come back down one more time. Butt goes out, go into a knee bend, make sure you're balanced, come back to the middle, go up on your toes, hold that balance, hold it, hold it, and come back down, good. Push down the left foot, step off the board, shake those legs out, we're gonna go again. Like I said, more intense workout today. Tuesdays, critical to feel the exercises. Thursday, an intensity using the technique we're learning on Tuesdays, and tomorrow is going to be a slightly harder again. Good, step up on one on one. There you go, just rocking side to side. Good, find that balance. Good, butt goes out, go into a knee bend, find that balance. Good, come to the middle, now go up on your toes. You'll feel here, being on one on one, a little more integration of your uh, little toe rather than the big toe. Good, come back to the middle, find that balance, butt goes out, go into a knee bend. I feel like I'm skiing right now. They are good, come back up to straight, go up on your toes, feel that balance. Excellent, come back down again. We're gonna go in, butt goes out, now a little more fluid. There's the knee bend, there's the stand, there's the up on the toes, there's the coming down. Two to go, butt goes out, slight knee bend. Back to the middle, go up on your toes, and last one. Butt goes out, go into that knee bend, find your balance before you come back up, stand back up, up on your toes. Good, come back down, push with your left foot, step off the board, shake those legs out. So again, you should feel that those legs are working, and it's really uh, beneficial, because it's not just working the legs, it's working the balance within the legs the brain feeling, the pressure points, no different than a baby learning to walk or an adult learning how to make sure they don't fall or have less than the chance of falling. Okay, we're gonna go again. This time, put your feet on three and three. Now, if you don't have quite as long a legs and it's a little uncomfortable, bring them into two and a half. You can put your feet right behind the poles. But now we're gonna be working, rocking side to side. Perfect. Good, find the balance in the middle. Some days I find this one easier, and other days I find uh, you know, it tougher. Here we go, butt goes out, bend your knees, find that balance, come back to the middle. Now go up on your toes and hold that balance. And you'll feel pretty much all the pressure is on your big toe, which is actually the strongest part of your foot. Come back down again. As far as balance, it's easier on the big toe than the little toe. Good, butt goes out, go into a squat, come back up. Go up on your toes, there you go, find that balance, come back down now a little again, we're going to go a little bit more fluid, butt goes out, go into the balance, I mean the squat, find your balance, come back up, go up on your toes, come back down, oops, man my balance, this is great training for me today, butt goes out, goes back in, stand up, go up on your toes, nice and smooth, nice and slow, there you go. Come back down, butt goes out, last one. Go into that squat, come back to the middle, go up on your toes. Now hold that balance, find that pressure point. Don't look down, look forward. Let the brain do the work, let the eyes see around. Good, come back down, push down with your left foot, step off of the board, and just shake those legs out. We've got one more exercise. I can feel I'm sweating already today. There's a lot of dynamic tension work going on as you go up on your toes. So the body is really working from everything, from the neurological awareness system through to your 
stabilization muscles and dynamic tension of the muscles as well, which is part of stabilization, the ability to react and go, okay, we're gonna go on to another exercise again. Bring your feet on two and two, rock, and now carefully and safely close your eyes and just feel that rocking. I want you to feel pressure points. There you go, good. If you wanna open your eyes or you feel unstable, feel free to open your eyes or go slower so you feel stable. Good, now with the eyes closed, find your balance. There you go, let the brain do the work. And it's interesting because sometimes when you've been rocking, the body wants to continue rocking and the brain has to find a peacefulness that will allow it to, um, to take away the motion and find the center. When I was a professional dancer, um, it was incredible how my balance improved from having been a soccer player to being a dancer. My body was the same, but the training was so different. Good, open your eyes slowly. Good, what I want you to do is put your foot, right foot goes to three, left foot goes to one, and just rock side to side. Keep your body still now, and see how your left leg on number one is working just a little harder to have to um, rock the board. The right foot doesn't have to work too much at all. Again, you can put your fingers on top, you can hold onto the poles, if you want, you can put your hands to the side or over the top of the poles and work that leg. And you'll feel, I can feel my, my quad muscle beginning to work. If it's getting tiring, feel free to step off of the board and recover. Good, let's go three more seconds. Good. Now what I want you to do, push down with the left, bring your right foot to number one. Push with your right, put your left foot on number three. We're gonna go the other side. So again, try and keep that body still if you can, or minimal movement, and you're just using the power of the quad in the right leg, you'll feel a little bit of the glute, tighten those abs, and just push that board again. You can put your fingers on top, hold onto the poles, or if you want to let go of the poles, but know you can grab them at any time. There you go, just pushing. Going through, pushing, and again, pushing. Keep those shoulders back. Good, we've got about 10 seconds to go. Really feeling the power in the right leg of working. So we're strengthening up the leg to support most of the body with a very little work going on on the left side. There you go. And push down with, oops, push down with the right foot. Bring the left foot to number one. Push with the left foot. Step back off the board. Now, we just work the legs really hard. So I'll turn sideways. You can stay front, but just those little butt kickers in here. Just those little butt kickers will loosen up the quads. And again, if you need to um, take a little bit of a break or get some water, feel free to get some water. Okay, so last thing we're gonna do now, like I said, it's an intense workout. We're now gonna go on a run. We're back to the running that goes on. Go at your own speed. Go as long as you want, stop if you need to. When we do this, and you can do this at home, you can end up giving yourself a timer and see how each day you're able to increase your stamina. So, Janelle, how are you? Glad you found me. Uh, you had trouble locating this second video for today. I'm sorry, that was my fault. So, uh, or the internet, I'll blame them. All right, so here we go. I'm starting the stopwatch. And we're gonna go two minutes of running. Put your feet on one and one. Good, just start with the rocking. Okay, here we go, we're 10 seconds in. A little bit of a faster push now. Going side to side again. Hold on to the poles for this one. I wouldn't do this one even letting go because you'll notice the poles because of the flex will begin to, to uh, vibrate across. So I always hold on to these when I'm doing this one, good. Okay, so we're 30 seconds in. Now we can start picking up the pace. There's two ways that you can increase your intensity. There's the speed of the, of the foot in, in, uh, interaction, and also how high you bring your knees. The higher you bring your knees, the uh, more interaction it's going to have with the muscles going through your core and through your legs. Now, if you can lift the knees and go a little bit faster as well, now we're hitting both sides, and the brain is naturally adjusting. Very good. Okay, we're one minute in. 
so we're just gonna keep pushing. Good, keep that running going. If you need to get off the board, feel free. I just felt my first bead of sweat run down my forehead. I was hot, now I'm spitzen. There you go. How you doing, Hunter? Hanging in there, I hope. Good, there you go. Keep it going, we've got 30 seconds left to go. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Nicely, I can feel my glutes working. I can feel my feet working again. Go at your own pace. Don't try and keep up with me. I want you to make sure that you're safe always. Going at the speed you wanna go, we're increasing your cardio workout, getting that heart rate up. Here we go, last six seconds. Rock it out. And there you go. Put your feet to two and two. Whew. That's a good workout. And again, you don't have to do the whole two minutes. You can do this 10 seconds. Step off, get back on, do 10 seconds, do five seconds. Or aim to do the whole thing at a slower pace. But so good. Hey Julie, how are you? Good to see you, another inspirational lady. Good, there's so many of you, in fact all of you are inspirational. And you know why? Because you're taking your life into your own hands, not waiting for somebody else to make it better for you. They become your support team, you become the champion. Good, just rocking out. Good, push down on your left foot, step off the board. Now two things, I want you to have some water and I want you to take the poles and move them into the center. The way that I would do that, because they're already set up, I take the bands off of the poles first, then I'll move the poles in, then I'll put the bands back on again. It makes it much easier. So I'm gonna give you one minute to change your, your uh, poles, bring them to the inside, take the bands, put them back on, and most importantly, get your water. Okay, if any of you have any questions, uh, hey, Judy, made today without having to stop. That's awesome. Uh, I don't know if it's my internet that's loopy today or yours, but for sure I know I'm having some problems. Okay. Just changing the poles. That one's in. Poles have been changed. Now putting the bands back on the top. I can feel today's workout, it's been really good. I hope it's as good for you as it is, because it's easy for me to say it's really good, but then it is all about you. Okay, it's great that you made it all the way to the running today, Julie, and you can come back later maybe and get the running back in, but don't leave. When you feel good, step back on now. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, take the band, I want you to rock. Every time the board touches the right-hand side, do a curl. So what we're doing is we're building coordination of the body knowing here, I'm going back to the right and I'm gonna bend. Elbow comes in, good. Make sure that coordination, you left, now push on the right and curl. Let the arm go straight, push on the right and curl. There you go. Let's go two more. One, and again, two. Excellent, put the band back onto the pole. Grab with your left hand, push on the right side. Now, when we push on the left, you're gonna curl that arm. So it's curl and back and curl and right foot push, left foot curl, right foot push, left foot curl, right foot push. Now, if you're feeling really confident, and again, we should be going slow, feel free to take that right hand and be ready to grab that pole but again, only when you're ready. This is up to you to judge you and you are your best coach. I've always said, the best coach is really you. The best teacher is the one that instructs you to be able to do things on your own. Here we go, one more. Up, down, place it back on. Now, we've got some new exercises today that are gonna be pretty tough, but before we do that, now find your balance in the middle. And all I want is five bicep curls on the right with your balance. Here we go, one, and two, and three. Squeeze that bicep, four, 
Don't lift the band, squeeze the bicep and then lift the band. There you go, change the arms, left. We're gonna go find that balance again. Good, let the brain find the balance. Balance always comes first. Here we go. One, two, squeeze the bicep, then curl. Three, squeeze the bicep, curl. Four, and last one, five. Good, come and put it back down. Good, just rock. Release that uh, tension in the legs. You're doing fantastic. This is not an easy workout, trust me. It, uh, I turned 21 yesterday and I'm struggling. I'm in the height of my fitness right now. So, hey now, don't laugh. Okay, next one, we're gonna take the right hand. What I want you to do is I want you to do a back lift and then you're gonna put the arm and try and straighten it backwards. I'll show you from the side what the motion is. You lift your arm up here, and then you'll straighten your arm back, bring it back, and put it down. So we've got shoulder, tricep, back to the shoulder, and down. You guys got that? Good. So what I want you to do is find your balance, lift the bag, strengthen the tricep, bring it back in, put it down. We've got four to go. Shoulder. Remember, balance always comes first. Don't let the ball touch the side and do the exercise. If you can't do the exercise, keep the balance. That's three done. Here we go. Elbow comes up, straighten it back, bring it in. That's four, last one. Keep that balance. Up, lift the bag. Straighten the arm back, bring it in, place it down, place it on the hook. Now, see if you can grab the other one without losing your balance. We're in here, you ready? Keeping that balance left, elbow, up and back. Straighten the arm, bring it back in and down. That's one. Elbow, back, in and down. That's two. Elbow, back, in and down. That's three, I think. Elbow, back, that could have been four. Up and down. Last one. Up, back, in and down. Very good. Put it back on. Good, and just rock side to side. Again, loosen up those legs. It's really important when you, re when you work, you recover. There's always gotta be work and then recover. I hope you're sweating, because I certainly am today. It's uh, wiping on my pants. I know, those days when I gotta do my own washing, in the old days, my mum would come and do the washing for me so I could sweat, now I'm a little bit more conscious, because I realize how much work mums do for their kids. All right. Next one we're going to do, we're now going to lift. What I want you to do is lift the elbow up. Now turn the hand and place it on the table and bring it back. So imagine you're lifting a bag up. You're going to place it on the table and then bring it down. That's two. Elbow comes up, you lift the bag, you take it forward, you put it on the table and bring it back down. That's three. Keep that balance. Elbow comes up. Put the bag on the table and put it back down. And last one, lift the bag, place it on the table, put it back down and place the band back onto the hook. Good, now remember when you're doing these exercises, balance always comes first. This is being able to be balanced and do um, everyday activities without one dominating the other. Here we go, left side. Elbow, place the bag on the table, bring it back down. Good, lift the bag. Keep your balance, place it on the table, bring it back down. That's two, lift the elbow. Place it on the table, bring it back down, that's three. Elbow high, lift it onto the table, bring it back down, that's four, last one. Elbow, place it on the table, bring it back down and place that band back onto the hooks. Good, and just rock it out side to side again. Whew. Okay, so we've got one more exercise that we're gonna do today. And again, it's been a, a slightly higher intensity workout as I'm sure you're feeling. Incorporating balance, subconsciously incorporating balance when we're doing band work, but making sure that the balance always dominates the movement. Okay, push down on your left foot, step off of the back. Now this is gonna be a tough exercise. Walk around, you're facing the left side of the board, step up onto the board, I want you to take 
the leave your left foot which should be closest to the back of the board there and move the other foot forward and what i want you to do is just rock forward and backwards this is a new band workout you won't have seen before so from here push back on your left foot grab the band with your left hand and bring it across now what i want you to do is as you push forward bring your arm to the side if i show you here what should be happening take the arm to the side this way so every time you push forward, the band goes out. When you push back, it comes in. So I push out, I bring it back in. I push the band out, so I lift it out, I push it back in. Let's go, four more. One, and back. Two, and back. Three, and back. And four, and back, good. Now put the band back onto the hook, good. Bring the front foot back to the back foot, step sideways off the board, and let's go around to the front. So again, now my right foot is gonna go onto the board first, closest to the back of the board. Put my left foot up. Now take my left foot and put it by the number three, or just, just behind the number three. Push down with my left foot, grab the band, push back with my right foot. So now when I push with my left, my arm goes out. When I push back with my right, the band comes back. Here we go. Two. We're going to do eight. Three. And four. And keep facing the side. I just look back at the camera to make sure that uh, my body angle is good. Seven. I think that's seven. It could be eight. Last one. Eight. Good. Push back. Put the handle on. Step your foot back and step off the side of the board. Very good. So that's an exercise we're going to just have today because I haven't done band exercises facing sideways, but wanted to give you the first intro in there. So what we're going to do now, step your feet back up on two and two. Just rock side to side. Good. We're going to cool down now. But when we're cooling down, I want to actually mobilize and get some... Uh, movement in the shoulders and arms we just worked them out so take hold of the left pole with your left hand and just roll that right shoulder back as you're rocking side to side this is coordination work as well good and it's a cooling down you shouldn't feel much effort doing this good put your right hand on the right pole drop your left hand and again if you don't feel safe grab both poles but now roll that left shoulder back very good Awesome, just roll that left shoulder back. Good, what I want you to do now is hold onto both poles. And again, nice easy rock, push the shoulders forward. Now pull them back and stand upright. You'll feel like you're actually pulling back too much and release and pull back. Good, strengthen up the upper back muscles, the shoulders, the rhomboids in here, very good. Even the trapezius are getting some work in here. Good, pulling those shoulders back. We wanna strengthen, stretch out the front of the body and tighten up the back so the muscles are working so we don't end up being slouched over. If you look from the side, this is how a lot of people begin to get. It's the muscles here are tightening up and the muscles here are stretching. We wanna reverse it, tighten up the back muscles and stretch out the muscles at the front. This will help support your neck, your skeletal structure, and make sure that you have more of a feeling of being up in the world and not down in the ground. Good, so let's go five more. One, two, squeeze, three, two more, squeeze, four, squeeze, five. Good, now what I want you to do is take your right hand and cross it over your left, just in here, nice and rocking. You'll feel a little bit of a stretch down the back of the right side of your, of your back. Good, grab hold with the right pole. If you're confident, take the left hand and just place it across and feel that very slight stretch across the back. At any time, grab hold of the pole if you feel unsafe or keep two hands on two and just push those shoulders forward. I can push my right shoulder and left shoulder. Good, what I want you to do now, push down with your left foot, step off of the board, step back into here, take your hands down. Now. Here's my little test for you, because I said we're gonna do some tests today. Stand on your left leg. Feel that balance. Do you feel solid and safe? Take your left hand off. 
Can you still keep that balance? Take your right hand off or grab the poles if you need to. Can you still feel that balance? Good, step down, take your right leg. Step on your right leg. Can you feel the balance? Good, take your right hand off. Can you still feel the balance? Take your left hand off. Can you still feel the balance? Both hands back on, step down. If you could do that, unbelievable, because that's not easy to do. I can tell you a year, well, maybe two years ago, I couldn't do that. I'd had a couple of accidents and I had lost my balance. I am better balanced today than I was a couple of years ago. Um, and I guarantee it's because of doing these exercises. Okay, next thing we're gonna do in here, just lift your heels very slightly. Again, doing the butt kickers, just loosening up those legs. There should be no effort. It's almost like if you had helium in your feet. My mum always said that I had cheese in my feet, but I don't know what she meant. But uh, if you had helium, it's just them they're naturally lifting up. Good, a couple more. There you go, good. Now what I want you to do is take your arms and cross them over so they're on opposite sides. And just, if I show you from the side, I'm just gonna push my back back. So I've gone from here, my back goes back into here. So I'm here, just push my back back and feel that stretch out in the upper back. Good, and kind of stand up. And again, just feel that stretch over. Good, and up, last one. Just feel that stretch. Again, I'm just leaning back. My butt goes back a little bit, but I'm still balanced on my feet. There you go, good. Take the hands down. Good, find a safe space on the width of your feet so you feel solid, and just look to your right. Come back to the center. Look to the left. Come back to the center. Come back to the right. Back to the center, to the left. Come back to the center. Now take your right ear and drop it to your shoulder slowly. Come back up. If you have vertigo, this may not be an exercise you want to do, but if you can, do it really slow. And again, the poles are here. If you begin to feel a little off balance, there you go. Come back to the middle one more time. Drop with stretching the side of the neck, giving you that mobility in your, in your head to be able to look around and see things and be able to move and still feel balanced at the same time. Good. We're in this one here. Move your feet back. This today, we're going to do a slightly different stretch. You're just going to lean forward, hold on to the top of the poles and see how far down you can lean. Keep those legs straight if you can and just feel that stretch. Your butt should be stuck out. So as I do this exercise, if I was here, my butt goes out and I'm leaning back into this position. Again, feeling the stretch in the back of my legs. If you need to step back a few steps, you can. There you go, just feeling the stretch. My elbows can drop, I can really feel that stretch. Good, now stand back up, I'm gonna show you this exercise we're gonna do. It's for lower back, strengthening and suppleness. So I'm gonna be in this position here, I will be here. I want you to round your back and then push it flat. Round your back then push it flat. All right, so I'll be in this position here. I come down, my elbows are almost on the pole now. I'm gonna round my back and flat. I'm gonna turn the board this way so you can see it more here. Good, so now I'm gonna round my back and flat. And round my back and flat. And when you round your back, suck your stomach in and feel those stomach muscles tightening up. Good, blow out when you round your back. Blow out, now breathe in. As you round your back, blow out. Breathe in, last one, round your back. Good, and come and stand back up again. Perfect. Okay, what I want you to do now, just a little side step, bringing that heart rate down a little bit, and the board can rock. So, that's the end of today's workout. Congratulations, that was not easy. And I know I'm in pretty good shape. Um, and when I, was, when I was training Bob Eubanks, I, was in, I thought I was in very good shape. But as I started doing balance exercises, I need to, needed to improve my balance as well. Um, it's proven that even kids, I trained, I got 16 year old, 17 year old, excellent soccer players. And I train them on balance because they spend so much time now sitting down and not exercising. Um, they spend more time on their phones, on their tablets. They're not as agile as, as your generation. My generation was growing up because they're not as physically active 
in movement and every day. It may be specific to sports, but it's not playing every day. So I know that balance needs to be improved at every age level, um, but I'm so happy to be able to be helping the golden generation to get their balance back because this is about life and living. I'm just gonna go through uh, something. Tony Bruce is back on, I'm, he may have gone now, but Tony, good to see you again, mate. I saw you the other day, Sandy Birch. Sandy, I used to dance with Sandy back in uh, England many years ago at Lane Theatre Arts, a fantastic dance school where I was for three years uh, full time. And it was a pleasure and honor both to be there and to be dancing with Sandy as well. Kirk, I hope you enjoyed it. Rosa, thanks, Shirlene. Thanks again for the contact yesterday. Uh, Julie, always a star in here. And everybody else that's there, thank you so much. So my message for you today to end is great job, hydrate, keep hydrating. It's one of the most critical elements of, of, of body development and enhancing life, which is why I created uh, with a very special formulator, uh, the 60 Up Hydration drink. Um, that I take every day. But again, it's not about taking the 60 up product. I created it because I think people need um, the encouragement and have a reason to take, but water's great. So whatever it is, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. If you don't hydrate after the workouts, you will find that your energy goes down. Your body is craving the, the refeeding of the muscles. You'll know that uh, hydration actually increases um, the liquidity of the blood so you can get oxygen faster to your brain and to the muscles to recover. If you are dehydrated, the blood gets congealed and it means that the heart has to work harder to pump the same volume of blood, but because the blood is now thicker, it's going to make it even worse because now you have to work harder and, um, and, and when it has to work harder, it still can't oxygenate as fast. Not good. So, Shirlene, great way to spend your lunchtime. Thanks so much. I'm glad it's lunch because now you can finish with a nice drink of water. And uh, thanks for sharing your lunch with me because I'm, I'm pretty hungry right now. Um, Janelle, uh, great. You got the red plastic holders. That's awesome. I'm so glad they came through to you. Um, and again, it helps with the band workout. Anyway, everybody, I think I've had enough of your time today. Thank you so much.